Now on the undefeated, Mark Spears writes about new Cavs GM Kobe Altman and how he passed his first test. Wow, okay. And this Kyrie Irving deal, Mark Spears joins us now, and let's talk about that. He passed his first test. Please explain um, why you believe he did one of the best jobs under such duress. Well, you're talking about a guy who was fourth on the totem pole when he, right before he got the job. He gets the job, and the first thing you're told to do is to trade Kyrie Irving. You know, thanks for this gig. But under duress, he, he did such a great job because, you know what, when you trade an all-star who is asked to be traded, you typically don't get an all-star back. That's what Kobe Altman did. He not only got an all-star back in Isaiah Thomas, he got a great swing defender in Jay Crowder. And he also got, and a lot of people aren't talking about this, the 2018 first-round pick from the horrible Brooklyn Nets, uh, mm. who aren't expected to be much better next year. So with that pick, they could potentially have the number one pick in what will be another great draft, perhaps even better than this year's draft. And you could maybe see a guy like Missouri's Michael Porter or Duke's Bagley in a Cavaliers uniform, which is, uh, I mean, under the situation, I think he did an A-plus job. Yeah, well, why was he able to get so much from Boston? Is it because, you know, Kyrie is box office, as some would say? We've seen other trades where they've yeah. gotten less. Like for Jimmy Butler, they didn't get much. Chicago didn't get much. Same for, you know, Paul George going to OKC. Um, why was he able to do this? Well, because uh, Isaiah had an expiring contract, I think that played a role in it. Because, OK, you're getting an all-star back, but he could walk in a year. That is why they had to include that number one pick. Look, Kyrie Irving is very young. He's, he's, what, four or five years younger than Isaiah, and he's under contract for at least two more seasons with an option for the one after that. So the Celtics have a superstar locked in. Uh, and then, But on the flip side, you know, Isaiah could walk, and that's why I think you, you had to include that first. I, I was a little surprised, especially that there weren't any protections to it. Perhaps Boston regrets it in the end, but if they get that 18th championship banner, if they get to the finals for the first time since 2010, I think Danny Ainge will be okay with it. All right, in your opinion, who wins in this deal? Is it Boston or is it Cleveland? I, I got to wait to the draft lottery. I okay. got to see where this pick lands. Um, if, if it is the number one pick or the number two pick, I, I'd say Cleveland uh, perhaps won, but you know, uh, again, if, if Boston gets to the finals, they could care less about where that pick is. All right, so what are they saying on the streets about LeBron's so That future? didn't really answer your question, huh? No, it didn't. I'm moving on <laughs> to the next one. I was um, like, you got to wait. I, yes, sir, I'm, I'm going to let you be the politically correct one today. Tell me about LeBron James. What does this mean <laughs> for his future? Um, I, I do think that if, if you're LeBron, you got to be impressed with what Kobe did. You got more confidence in him now for him making this trade, bringing a star back, still keeping this team a, a championship caliber team. And then, hey, you'll know where that pick is before you hit free agency. So I think this helps. This helps him stay. And if he leaves, you know, I, I hear that Kobe had his, his mind on the future. And if LeBron does leave and they get a high pick, at least it gives them a young player that they could build on for the future. So, you know, the worst case scenario isn't that bad because of this number one pick. But Perhaps it entices LeBron to stay.